Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we are going to uh, work with some water and water pumps. And I have also hit a level 50. And um, actually, I'm halfway through level 51. If you didn't already know this, though, what happens when you hit level 50 is you stop. The game stops giving you talents. You continue to get blueprint points for tech tree, but you no longer get talent points. So these, this is going to be the final... Uh, talent point expenditure that we're going to do, but I can go up into the, to the space station and respec the talents or reset them too at some point in the future, should I decide to do so. So all right, so we have one solo point left, and um, I was looking at these. We already got the low maintenance one, which I really liked. And um, after looking through these, I think what I want to do is I want to take the uh, slice and dice. It'll give us another five percent damage with knives. Well. Nice to have 20% more carry weight of wood, ore, and stones, too, for mining and stuff. Uh, yield for mining and harvesting. That's not bad either. I mean, they're all really good, but we haven't really put any normal talent points into our knife, and we still use it on occasion for melee. Oh, boy. And this would be nice, though, too, but I use the animals to haul, so, I mean, if it was just me by myself, definitely would be getting this, but it's not. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put that final point into the Kniffies. We have two points left in regular talents, um, so let's go take a look at Habitation. And uh, I'm going to put this other point in Relaxed Rider, so 30% less oxygen food, water consumption while we're mounted. going to be really useful when we're going across the desert. And then I think probably the uh, uh, this one here, Long Haul, would be good. Uh, more weight capacity. Um, unless we wanted to look at something else, I think with combat, we've pretty much got everything. 30% for firearms to recover durability instead of breaking. Eh, not really. I mean, useful, but I don't usually let my firearms get that low. 5% chance not to consume ammo when firing a projectile weapon. Okay. Um, this one is run... Yeah, run fast with guns. Uh, let's go back and look at our bows for a minute. Since these are the ones, you know, that we invested in already. Cheaper bow crafting, that doesn't really matter to us. Chance to craft double and crafting arrows. I mean, that could be somewhat useful, I suppose. What was this? Oh, reload speed? Nah, I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Movement speed with the bow, 8%. Um... Yeah, I mean, that could be good too, I suppose. We have never looked at anything in survival here. Maximum stamina. Maximum health. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with maximum health. Why not? 10% maximum health. Okay. So that takes care of all our talent points. We have 10 points <coughs> to spend, excuse me, in the tech tree. So let's go up to tier 4. I want to get this advanced alteration bench. Um, and then we'll make that thing and see what kind of cool stuff we can make with it. Advanced tool attachment, advanced armor attachment, advanced ranged weapon attachment. What about melee weapons? Can we not do melee weapons? Uh, the chemistry bench, we're going to get that. Let's see. I'm not, I've never really found a need for electric carpentry or electric masonry bench. I mean, I'm sure they're better, but... I don't know. It's not something that you do all of the time, constantly. You do it while you're building, and then you're mostly done with it. You know what I mean? Electric composter would probably be useful to get, you know, just to make fuel quicker, that sort of thing. Uh, well, you know what? We're going to get these no matter what. So let's put points into those attachment thingies. And um, what else do we have here? Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to upgrade to a platinum sickle. I'm not going to do a titanium sickle, at least not for now. Uh, we want berry jam, we want anti-poison pill. Um, I did the ceiling lights already, and I already got those actually uh, put up to iron crop plot. Okay, so this, this one will actually take the water intake, and it's way cheaper than the, um, you done the hydroponics. So yeah, why don't we learn that? Maybe we'll look at doing, putting that up. Okay. Anything else here? 
alteration bench. Yeah, see, this is just the, the lesser version of what we just did in tier four. So I don't think we need that. Um, we could do bread, I suppose. Makes bread, just add to fire. Uh, we could do the kitchen storage block, but I don't think this does anything. It's just an extra storage place. So, um, I don't know, maybe not. Well, if you radar cave scanner. It might be useful to get the uh, deep vein scanner. Um, where is that? Is that a tier four item? Yeah, deep mining ore scanner. That could be useful. Portable beacon, nah. The dropship recall is kind of neat, though. Bi-directional lamp. I'd like to do the water wheel if we could actually... Oh, actually, yeah, we should do... We should do the fertilizer, especially if we're going to do the iron bench. But I think we're actually going to go with the electric composter. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so that spends all of our points. Fantastic. Yeah, as you can see, I put a couple ceiling lights up here. Um, so there's one there and one there and got those wired up. Those are all running off of the second jitty and provide some nice lighting here. And I can save my lanterns for when we go out and about. Okay. So let's see here. What do we want to do? We wanted to, to get started with some water pump action. Uh, the bird just killed itself. So what do we need to make a water pump? <clears throat> Maybe what we ought to do actually is up our up our garden game and <clears throat> the thing about the water pump from what I understand is as I look at the stove if you look there's a little red thing that says connections and I believe when we connect water up it just makes it cooks faster but I mean <clears throat> that's not something I really need to be honest with you I'm um, cooking it up to here and making the fuel faster would probably be useful I don't really care about hooking it up to the masonry bench and making that faster. Um, yeah, the glass maker, we could make that faster, the concrete maker. But again, these are not items, things that we're using all of the time. We're only using them on occasion. It seems to me like hooking up water to garden plots so I don't have to water them would be much a much more useful thing to do. So I think that's what, how we're going to roll. Now, I was also thinking about... Um, putting some bridges in on both sides so one going that way and one going this way and then just putting one of these gates at the end of the bridge so critters can't just you know walk across it onto our territory so um, I think we want to do that as well and it looks like maybe it's time for us to, to pick the garden so yeah let's let's um let's focus on upping our garden game and what that means is that we're gonna we're going to put the garden on foundation. We're going to make those iron plots. I think I'm hitting the tree there. Man, the range on this rifle sucks. <laughs> A rifle like this in real life would easily be able to hit from that far away. Right, we got the pig. Yeah, I cannot hit that bear from here. <coughs> so, any hoozle, <clears throat> what we'll do, uh, maybe what we'll do is even, well, I was thinking about doing a greenhouse, but the problem with the greenhouse, is, as I recall, is that the water or, or the storms will mess the glass up. Um, the jaguar just came and ate the, the pig. Can we hit the jaguar from here? Yep, I guess they're just barely within range of the rifle. I wonder if that'll call the... Well, it's calling the Komodo in. I don't see the bear coming in. Oh, we got a friend coming in over here, though. What in the hell? How is that missing? There's no way that should have missed. <laughs> Something's not right in Denmark here, man. Holy crap. I'll have to go back and look at the, the, the video, but I had my sights right on him, and he was well within range. Oh, man, I don't know what's up with that. 
All right. Well, anyway, um, so yeah, what I think we'll do is we'll set up some foundations, and we don't we don't need to be all the way on that end of the island either. So maybe we'll set them up just right over here. Um, and then we'll build the iron crop plots and then we'll hook up a water network to those using the, the pump. I don't know how many pumps it'll take for our current number of crops, but I guess the first thing is is that we need to see how many crop plots we can make of those new type. Let's eat these pies before they go bad on us. And uh, actually, since we're going to stick around the base today, I'll just leave the rest of those in the, in the fridge for now. Okay, so... Did we make those in here? Yes. All right, so that's what we're going to need to make them. That's not incredibly expensive. It's kind of expensive, but not incredibly expensive. So let's go over to here and... Oh, that should have been on all the time, making all this steel up for us. We're going to need uh, that steel to make the water pump itself. Um, and yeah, let's actually craft that right now. And we need to make the water pipe tool. Wow, 20 copper. That's expensive. Um, by the way, I did go check on my my drill on the copper node, and it seems like it makes about a half a stack a day. So I'm not sure I'm happy with that uh, amount. So we might do something different. I'll probably keep the electric drill out there, but maybe make a generator in a, a small hut. And take a generator out there because I mean we're gonna have to if we if we switch to a biofuel generator we're gonna have to go refuel it anyways and the electric generator is 25% faster than the biofuel generator um, but of course you know we would have to make a new a new generator so it'd be a little more expensive but if we have better yield in the long run you know um, oh yeah we made the platinum sickle now too um, or we we learned it so let's make one of those I've been using the bone sickle all along, and it's time for us to move up a little bit in the world when it comes to our sickling. There we go. This, uh, I guess we can put this bone sickle in our backup tool chest for tools we'll probably never use again. <laughs> you never know, though. We might need them, especially if we die and we need to recover our stuff. All right, all of these sticks let's pull out of here. And I'm going to put, how many do we have in here? Let's put a few more in here, and then we'll turn all of these into tree sap. There we go. Okay. So we made the water tool, made the water pump. We are going to have to run power to this, too, so that's another reason why I'd like the crop plots to be a little bit closer to the base. Um... I think we'll put these up on concrete foundations just because they'll look nicer. Um, we could do wood too because if you put a crop plot on a wood foundation, it doesn't um, it doesn't take weather damage. At least it used to, unless they fix that. I don't know. Um, so let's make a hundred nails. And while that's going on, uh, we need to start making some crop plots. So that's going to also take copper. Um, let's see, I think, wow, that is all we have left for copper, I think. Yeah, there's no copper left in there. There's none in there. Copper, man, I'll tell you what, that is, that's our choke point right now. Okay, well, I'm willing to, how much copper does it take to make one of these plots? Four. So. So we could make 10 with 20. No. We could make 5 with 20, not 10. Oh, well, we can make 10 with 40. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, I don't, man, I don't know if I want to give up that much copper right now. Why don't we... Why don't we make six to start with? So we'll we'll use twenty-four iron or copper ingots. All right, and then uh, see what else we need. We need sulfur screws and iron ingots. Ten iron ingots. So we're making six, two, four, six. So we need 
60 iron ingots. We have plenty of iron. I'm not worried about that. And uh, we need to free some space up in here. Let's take that out. And we need sulfur. Gonna have some sulfur in here, I think. Yep. Oh, actually, yeah, we got a ton of sulfur in there. <coughs> okay, so that should allow us to make six of these. Why only four? Oh, because we need more sulfur. Okay, well, here, let's make the first four, and then we'll make the other two. Get that out of there. Um, I guess I'll put these back in here for now. Let's grab our nails out of here. And how many of these can we make? Eight? Yeah, let's make eight. So yeah, I mean, if we had a water connection on this, it would go faster, but here again, you know, I'm, I'm not using that every day. I'm using this all the time, so it makes sense to hook water up to that. It'd be nice, I guess, for the cooking to go faster, but it's not like it's too slow, so that's margin, marginal in my opinion. But, again, to keep the, the crop plots watered all the time, that would that's, that's definitely worth doing. Speaking of which, we're thirsty. Alright, so whilst we're waiting for all of that, uh, we also learned the chem bench and the composter. So, electronics is what's going to be the, the stopping point on that until we we get more copper in here. I have nine electronics in here. That requires 20 and that requires 20. Okay. Why are you not making these? Oh, I know why. Here, let's restart it. It's because the the thing was full. Oh, those don't stack either. Oh, I see. Okay. Here, go here. Make that craft. Want two more. Didn't we say we were going to make six? I must have miscounted something. Okay. Let's grab uh, two more copper. And ten more iron. Oopsie. That gives us our six iron crop plots. Alright, um, now we just need to grab these foundations. And wait for the storm to finish up here. Alright guys, I'm back. I had to go AFK for a bit. Um, let's head on out here and get these plots set up. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is take this first foundation. We want to make sure it's above the grass so the grass doesn't poke through because that just bugs the heck out of me. Um, I don't know actually if we're going to be able to do that though. And we might have a little bit of grass poking through, I guess. But what I... The plan for the bridge is basically to go straight out that way to the west and straight out this way to the east, but maybe a little more over here so it hits. Well, yeah, actually. Okay. Well, here, let's do this. Let's put this then right about here, make sure we're facing east. And we're going to have a little bit of grass sticking up there, but what can you do? Okay, 
So that gets us started with um, eight plots. Or, yeah, eight foundations. We have six plots to start with, and I'll, I'll expand this as time goes on. So, oh, I guess I have the plots already in my inventory. <coughs> We're going to want a ramp for this, maybe actually two even. Right, we're gonna need some more nails. Nails, where are we at? Over here. Let's make another hundred of these. Um. If I expand it more it'll probably expand it more that way so I think I'll put this stairwell here on this side and that one on that side okay now let's grab the plots themselves and we want to make sure we're facing on one of the cardinal directions and that we're putting it as close to in the middle as possible They don't have to be absolutely perfectly lined up, but I want them to look reasonably well. Reasonably lined up. You know, if we wanted to... Hmm. I could, I could move these closer together. They don't have to be right in the center. one could stand to be moved over this way a little bit. Maybe right to about there. That's pretty close. I don't like that those foundations are all dark like that, but what can you do? Okay, now let's see. Let's grab the water pump. I have to figure out where I'm going to put it because we have to run power to it as well. Um, I'm almost wondering if we should have a dedicated generator just for these. How much does it cost to make another generator? We're short two electronics, which we probably... Um, we have a little bit of copper left in here. Let's make two more of these. And then we should be able to make another biofuel generator. Right, okay. Now, let's make a, another foundation. Uh, we gotta go get nails. make another two cans of um, or two biofuel cans and we need 50 iron ingots for that one for in the generator and one to be filling up all right so we'll grab two of those And then maybe what we'll do is we'll put the um, the water pump down on this side, maybe? Does it have to? Can it be submerged? or Maybe have it come up through the center here. So if we look west, and we just put it right down in the water there. Okay. 
And then what we'll do here is we'll that there generator here and we have to of course cover that it's starting to get dark so we want four of these and one of these Should work. Now, let's take the electric tool, uh, which I guess I don't have in my inventory. I thought I did. That's fine. <coughs> I was going to say, we lined that, <coughs> the water pump to go right down the center of the foundations, which is what I want it to do. Okay. All right. I guess it's just not providing anything because I don't have anything hooked up yet, right? So can we make like a little, that's all the further it's going to go that way. Okay. And then, um, I don't know how many of these we can run off of here. So what I'm going to do is put this in the center or maybe even put it right about here. And then we should be able to run one to there, one run to here. Uh, to there. Can we run another one off of here? Yes, we can. Okay. Except for it's running off the wrong side. Hold on a sec. I want it to come off the center. here and then we'll do one right here good now we should be able to go into here and into here into here and into here and into here and into here okay cool so that provides constant water now for for these plots And like I said, you know, we will add more as time goes on. So that's taking 50 water. So we're total, we're drawing 300 water. And this can provide up to a thousand. That's good to know. Wait, no, that says 15. What? Oh, right. 15. I was looking at the 50 
water the green thing, but it's the blue thing. That's even better. That means one pump can provide a lot of a lot of these things. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Very good to know. So we can expand our our crops um, quite a bit if we you know later on if we decide to do so. They're not they're not perfectly lined up. Um, I think this one here. Um, this one probably could stand to go over a little bit. Maybe to there and to there. That's going to have to be reconnected, I'm pretty sure. Um, disconnect, man. Can't get it to disconnect. Alright, pick this back up. Yeah, disconnect that. Plop back down. It's lined up there. That's pretty lined up there. Okay, I might futz with this later and try and get these lines a little straighter than they are, but this gets us started. Now, what I want to do, we, we have a total of 12 of these crop plots. So we'll probably keep using these for the moment um, to... But let's also start planting in here. Okay, so we'll put one of each type of crop in the new plots. Get the squash in there. Corn in here. And carrots. Carrots have the lowest yield, so I think we're going to do all of the rest of the new ones in carrots. Well, which is to say two more. <laughs> okay. I will put a door on that too, by the way. Okay, cool. So we have one of each of, of our crop types planted in the new plots, and they have constant water. So we don't have to worry about that. These we are going to need to... Oh, did I not put watermelons in there? I don't think I did, did I? Well, here, let's pick the rest of these. I'm going to have to water these by hand. doesn't have anything in it. What did I have in there before? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it does. It's got squash. Okay. Oh, we never did the rest of these corn either. Alright, now we'll put this in here. The one okay so those are all watered up now I'm curious about something can we can we run off of this here and run a line into the house because what we could maybe do is temporarily hook up to like the masonry bench when we are making stuff because I'm going to have to make a lot of stuff for the bridge we won't necessarily keep it hooked up permanently but at least it will give us a 
a boost, you know, while we're using it kind of thing. I'm going to come this way. Low. Okay, so the masonry bench is right there. Yeah. Get it inside and there we go. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, what I might end up doing then is actually running the water line to the house, but maybe doing it outside so it's not visible like this on the ground. And just not have it hooked up unless we need to use it for something, and then we hook it up at that time. So, yeah, I'll probably do that, but I'll probably run the pipe more along here and outside and then into the house. But I'm just going to leave this one here for the, for the time being. I just wanted to see how well that would work. Very cool. Okay, we got to get a door on our little um, powerhouse there. Oh, and also, here, let's get all of the veggies in the fridge here. And we probably need to feed our critters. So I've got 13 of those, 18 of those. Let's split corn and the squash and the watermelons and the pumpkins. Wait, did I just split those pumpkins? Yeah, I think so. No, I don't want to ride you. here to feed you boys there you go have some food give them a second and then they'll run right to the trough give them two seconds and they'll run right to the trough okay that's probably more like five or six but he's hungry he's hungry and yeah, they'll eat So we want to go back over to here and we want to make a door. So we need six iron and eight iron nails. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on in the masonry bench. Uh, building pieces for our bridge. And I. Rather than do a foundation bridge, I think we'll do pillars and ceilings because it'll probably be a little bit cheaper, I'm thinking. What in the hell's going on over here? Something attacking us already? Oh, our generator's taking damage because of the storm. Yowzers. Okay, here, get this. Get this in place. Okay. <coughs> Dang, it's not even the, the worst part of the storm yet. Okay. It's a good thing we got that door going. Um, let's get a hammer and go repair that back up to full. I can't believe how much damage that took in such a short period of time. Goodness gracious. Okay, cool. A sturdy option for farming with water intake for faster crop growth. Fully grown crops left too long, yada yada. Okay, yeah, so these will grow our crops faster. Now, we may eventually go the hydroponics route. It's just they're so expensive to make. So that's, that's going to be a little ways further down the road, I think. Alright guys, well, 
I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. So like I said, um, I have 11 stone floors already, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make all of the pieces that I think we're gonna need uh, to make our bridges. And then we'll start the next episode and we'll build a couple of bridges with gates on each end and then go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.